Hello and welcome. Today we're looking at Magi OS 0.4. It's a Linux distribution focused around AI. For now, it's a live USB that you can test out on your computer if you've got a GTX 1080 or better. Let's take a look. When you boot up your computer, you'll be greeted with this wonderful interface and you'll see your model loading status. Wait for that to complete before you really use any of the tools or you'll just be waiting for them to return. Down here is a LLM interface you can chat with. It uses the Olama model that's loaded. In this case, that's Mistral. Hey. So you can see it's context aware, knowing that I have um, Kate selected at the moment. Here's my Kate window. <laughs> We're on a different screen. Aside from just chatting with your LLM, you can click this little audio icon to have any of its replies read back to you. Assistant, hello. How can I assist you today with untitled Mac slash asterisk Mac slash asterisk Kate? Wonderful. <laughs> you can also use voice transcription. Hey, how's it going, assistant? Bam. Outside of clicking the audio button here, there's also the same icon here, which uh, does a similar thing anywhere in any app. For example, I can click and hold this voice transcription button here and I can type in various things into this search box. Bam! Also similarly, I can highlight something and have it read back to me by clicking this speaker icon. This means that you can use a dedicated voice plan. Oh well, another AI helping us out. <laughs> out of the box, there's also some configuration settings. You can change your panel settings and your workspace. Importantly, you can open up audio settings and configure your input. You will need working mic input for the voice transcription. Here you can select which AI model you want to use. Note that this is just pulling from Olama and you can download additional Olama models and select it here. Under appearance, you can select which GTK themes you're using as well as which Magi theme you're using and these themes do affect the whole system. At the top panel, you'll see your CPU, your RAM use, and your GPU use, as well as your VRAM usage. VRAM gives you a good indication on how maxed out you are on loading AI models. New in this release is this terminal icon. If you select it, you can chat with your computer voice assistant style. This is a smart bash terminal. Hello. Hello. You currently have no network local connections being added to the access control list, and it seems like the slash mar slash lib slash mist slash That's because I have some misconfigurations in my bash rc file, I believe. Anyway, uh, it is context aware, so if I just simply type in clear, I can ask it other things without having it talk about my misconfigurations. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How can I help you today? I'm demoing you as a voice assistant. I'm delighted to be demoed as a voice. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to ask. What's 5 times 5? Five? 5 times 5 is 25. Of course, this is a regular terminal you can just type commands into. What does this mean? The free command shows the memory usage of your system. It's basically just a friendly terminal that you can yes, talk to when you correct. All of this is open source, links are in the description, and I encourage you to download and try it out. As I've recently just picked up a day job, I will be developing on this much less. If you want to see this develop further, like, share, and subscribe. There's also ways to support me financially on my GitHub. Thanks for watching. Bye.